to my wonderful amiable listeners welcome to another interesting news the news headline indigo should expect nothing new if the judiciary opposes the electoral caricature of february 25 abuji said indigo should expect nothing new if the judiciary opposes the electoral caricature of february 25th abuji said Come with me as I give you the news in full details. If the official political decision appeal council decision doesn't favor Mr. Greg Repeater will be renowned Nigerian and editorialist E.K. Abuji has urged the Igbo people not to anticipate for any new development. Remember that President Ashiwa Jibola met to Nubu declaration as the election winner of the February 25 election is being contested by Mr. Peter Obi and Atiku Abubakar. In his recent distribution, the representative of seen chief appointees, supervisor and boss at New Message Paper claimed that the new government would continue to minimize the Igbo public. Ashwajibola Metunumbu, according to him, has already signaled that he will support President Mamadou Bari's agenda. He said, convinced that the agenda to shrink the Igbo cloud in a federal Nigeria was going on very successfully under his watch, Mamadou Bari, as the president, described the Southeast as a dot in the circle. Having executed his agenda and handed over to the man who promised to keep his legacies or absence of them, Indigo should expect nothing new if the judiciary opposes the charade, diversity, and electoral caricature of February 25. Having carried out his agenda and handed over to the man who promised to maintain his legacies, Indigo should expect nothing if the judiciary opposes the caricature of February 25. Take him in, E.K. Aboji made the claims in today's New Telegraph newspaper. We recall that the electoral process in the association of February 25 election, the people of Nigeria demonstrated their dedication to democracy on the 25th of February election, but there were many angry and frustrated Nigerians as well as many who had celebrating victories they believe was hard fought and well earned. In the coming days, it will be important for the future of this country that Nigerians will not let their differences divide them the Nigerian election held its presidential and national assembly election mm-hmm. on Saturday, February 25, 2023, across all the states of the Federation and the Federal Capital Territory. It was the most competitive election since the country's return to democracy in 1999, the seventh in the circle. It was also the election with the lowest turnout, just about 25.2 million voters voted in the election. Close to 1 million voters were voided and declared winner won just about 8.8 of the total vote cast of the 93.4 million registered voters, with a collated figure of 87.2 million. Many commentators have, commentators have attributed the low voter turnout to voter suppression, voter intimidation, and the scarcity of money and fuel. Although this may not have been serious reasons for vote apathy, the people were disappointed by Alec Cruz's in- incompetence. In 1999, the vote the voter turnout was about 52.3% in 2003. Over 63 million voters showed up. That is 69.1% turnout in the Nigerian presidential and national election, national assembly election in that of that year. In 2007, the reported figure was 57.5, and 2011, 53.7% with the loser in that election. General Mamadou Bari has gotten many as little over 50 million votes. In 2015, the turnout figure dropped to 43.7%. Later in 2019, 34.75%. The, the bigger point to be made in the Nigerian 2023 presidential election has had the worst turnout in the whole Africa in the last decade. 
in 2017, Rwanda recorded a 98.15 voter turnout, which was considered the highest in the world. What we can hold to is that the whereas Nigerians was very enthusiastic about the National Assembly and presidential election of February 25, 2023, there were great apprehension among the people which hindered the eventual outcome of the process. Nigeria now have a president-elect in person of Senator Ashiwa Jubola Tunumbu, candidate of the All Progressive Congress with the lowest margin of victory in the contemporary Nigerian history. The total number of valid votes in this election is not even up to the total number of voters won by just two candidates in the previous election. But what the law states is that the man with the majority of votes and the highest number of votes is two-thirds of the 36 states of the Federation and the Federal Capital Territory is to be declared winner. Section 134 of the 1999 Constitution, which addresses this, is already a matter of contention in both the public domain and the court. It will be interesting to see how the course of the presidential election tribunal this diminish or enhances the country's dependence in that regard. But for now, what we know is that the Independent National Electoral Commission declared Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Tunumbu the winner of the presidential election. Alec did not waste time to give the certificate of return to the All Progressive Congress candidate. We have not seen the we have not seen the same haste with the other election, the National Assembly election of February 25, and their legislative winners. None of them have received the certificate of return the following day or nine days after. But the president elect got his his post in haste. He has also since embarked on victory laps to key political figures, including the president of his own state of Dara, his wife, supported by other APC wives, which has visited Mrs. Aisha Buhari in, in the Asso Rock Villa. The heavy burden of proof is on the plaintiff to prove that Peter Obi has been cheated. The courts have a presumption of regularity in favor of the respondent and the electoral commission. The test in the election matters in substantial complaints. It is partly with some of the election cases that go all the way to the Supreme Court also produces strange outcomes. In presidential matters, it should it will be recorded that the Nigerian Supreme Court has never turned up any presidential dispute from Aluwolo from Awolo versus Shagari to Atiku versus Jonathan and after. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button. And let us know your thoughts and your opinion via the comment section below. And I will see you on the next news. Bye for now.